Dear Ma, how have you been? Are you eating well? Have you been trying out new recipes? Have you been following our lives closely? Since you were gone, we haven't eaten much at home because I had little time to cook. Pa is still the same except for his recent struggle with eczema. We is planning to apply for a flat with his girlfriend. I'm sure you'll be really excited that one of us is finally getting married. Ma, I've slimmed down a little over these years, and much as I hate to admit it, I saw how much I resemble you when you were younger. I'm still working very long hours to grow my business. We moved to a bigger office last year. Our new office is beautiful. There's a little greenhouse with pretty plants, and we adopted two adorable cats. You'll be so proud. I often wonder what we could have done together if we were still around these four years. I'll bring you to gardens by the bay. You enjoy seeing the greens there. I wish to take you on many more trips. I know you will love another trip to Japan. Since you haven't had the chance to see the cherry blossom, I've been raving to you about. I miss marketing with you, and all that I know about picking the best supplies and produce, I learned it from you. I still eat from the same few hawker stalls whenever I visit the market, because they reminded me of those times we ate breakfast together. Every Chinese New Year. One of the things I get asked very often, other than the very famous "When are you getting married?", was whether I've mastered your kuih making skills. Many people miss your sung kuih, angku kuih, kuih lapis, and every other kuih you are so good at making. I should have listened a lot more intently when you were imparting all your secret recipes. But I thought we would have lots of time doing this together. I told Auntie Lian Ying. And let be that. I'll show them one day how your self-proclaimed apprentice really did steal some skills, and will make them some quiz. For all the grievances I had with your fiery temper, you taught me many things that shaped my character. You told me it's okay that I failed my math exams because I have talents in other things. You supported my every career and my lofty, uncertain dreams. And other parents of your generation will simply tell their kids to choose the practical route. I've lost my cheerleader, my personal chef, and my life shifu. I never knew what this loss meant until I realized that the most unsuspecting little things. Such as dropping off at the bus stop where we took our last bus ride together, would bring me a lot of tears. Sorry, I wasn't home with you when you breathed your last breath. I said I'll never live with regrets. But you got me up this. <sighs> I hope to continue what you did best, spreading joy with food. Ma, 谢谢你的爱。